Welcome to Ed Lead Scallon's workshop. This is Roy back again. This is a little experiment we're going to work on coming out of two car batteries, 24 volts, going into this capacitor. We're coming in the positive through the top, uh, negative through the side, so the outside layer. We're coming off the negative and we're touching um, this group of wires. This is one of this side one of this side and then we're coming off the top it's connected to the positive side so I want to show you the attraction right now uh, the PMH is not a magnet uh, we're going to go ahead and create a field magnet and I want to show you what it does so um, I got a loose connection here and let me make the connection and we will see what happens alright so you can see that it attracted itself it's stuck to the metal. There's no more current going through the wire. And now it's a permanent magnet with energy running through the iron as long as the keeper bar there. And Ed speaks about this in his magnetic current. Um, if you were to hook up these two wires to a light bulb and you would break free the iron, the connection uh, of that energy running through the iron, uh, the the energy would come out of the iron through the copper and light the bulb up for a second. Okay, so uh, I also, uh, he had a straw, <sighs> okay, I also have um, this everything lined up and I wanted to go over that because I'm about ready to fasten down everything and um, start making the connections. Now the connections that um, that I talk about are in between these capacitors. So I was just trying out the capacitor to see how uh, if it would uh, affect the magnetic. Um, let me put you down, guys, for one second while I set up something. Okay, I gotta set up my the uh, capacitor is heavy. These guys are. A few pounds, probably 15 pounds. And right now it's just a visual. But uh, sorry about that. Um, I put my capacitor back in place. So um, it, it's getting ready to set this all up. The way I have this is right here this is a south pole, this is a north pole. The blacks over here are north. The uh, other one is south. So when this comes along and hits that corner to that corner, it will pull in. It'll be making its connection in my circuit. Then the connection will break free. It's happening to both of them. And the connection will break free. And then it will make a connection right about there, halfway in between the V magnets. Then it'll start the process over and pull the metal to it to align the metal on both sides. Now, while it's doing that, we're going to start off first with what I know. And I know how to turn the wheel this way. So without the capacitors, I didn't do it with capacitors before. I didn't do it with the iron uh, poles going down, uh, just with the two uh, PMHs. So we're going to start the process off going there first and getting the wheel turning. Um, I did have to check the capacitor and see if it would mess with the magnetic flux that comes out of these PMHs and it seems to make it really stronger. So uh, I feel safe now on going into the positive, going to the negative, coming out of the car battery. On the, on the hot side of my ladder, the positive side, I'll make all my connections. I will uh, not connect the block to the positive yet because that's a uh, later down the road experiment. But right now I just wanna get the two PMHs, turning the wheel and being able to control the speed fast or slow. And then we'll start off on uh, adding these other pieces and uh, you guys leave your comments the comments uh, I like to answer them I like to answer questions um, I will mention with these aluminum spools it changes the dynamics in the PMH so I will be taking these off they're not part of the um, what the part that I'm looking for 
Uh, these are much better. Directly connected, bam, it's getting a lot of magnetism, it's straight up. These are doing strange things, which I'm glad I did, because now uh, the, the right angle, 90 degree angle, uh, off of uh, magnetism to electricity um, it seems to be a, a, a fluctuation and change in your conductors. Uh, not every conductor is equal. So I uh, just want to put that out there. Leave your comments. I keep uh, putting the videos out there so you can see the growth of, of how we're going to get to where we're going to be uh, through the process. And that's why you guys are getting these little videos. And sorry to make them five minutes. I'm trying to keep them under three, but there's so much to talk about. I'm so excited. Uh, this also up top, you can see that this is a great avenue there to create a spark gap. Um, up here opens up my eyes for later down experiments. The back side of this aluminum is vinyl, so that means there is a coating here on the back which creates a dielectric. Uh, what if you would put another one on the other side to create a, a a dynamic uh, 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 dielectric uh, field up above. Uh, what does it do? How does it react to the magnetic field when this wheel is turning? And we're going to do some kind of test along with the C with metal shavings and copper shavings, aluminum shavings, wood shavings, and see what happens. Uh, you know, we'll try to stay out of the wind, put it in plastic, and try to watch the field as much as we can. Maybe. I got this big, um, big round sheet of glass. We'll put that mm, maybe somehow on top of the wheel up here and we'll fill it with stuff and we'll see if it'll put a magnetic field and show any design on top. That would be interesting too. All right, you guys, peace out. Thank you, my fellow YouTubers. And I just want to uh, thank all you people who put videos up. Um, you're inspiring. You show different details. Um, it's uh, basically a great learning experimental tool for everybody who likes to tinker and who likes to have their own little workshop. Well, this is Ed Lee Scallon's Mindset Workshop. You guys have a good day. Thank you.